Hi! In this video, we want to share an exciting new update that will improve your routing operations. At route for me we're constantly looking for ways to add more value to our customers' last mile delivery processes, and we know how important it is to have quick access and complete visibility into the relevant aspects pertaining to your planned routes. When you need to look at route maps, notes, and even your driver's live location, you want to have as much screen real estate as possible to help you keep track of your destinations and drivers. The latest update to our user interface brings you just that. Introducing our new, reorganized global menu, which replaces the old ribbon menu on the left-hand side of the screen. From now on, you'll be able to access any of route for mes main sections by clicking the hamburger button at the top left of the screen. You'll find that all items you need and use daily are slightly rearranged to allow for quicker and more effective navigation of the platform. Just like before, the Routes section sits at the top of the list, but its new simplified structure allows you to focus exclusively on planning, modifying, and monitoring your routes. Here you'll find the basic options to plan a new route and access the Routes section and the Routes map. Depending on your subscription plan, you may see additional subsections, such as optimizations, that allows you to modify multiple routes that were planned at the same time. And the Smart Optimization page displays a list of optimizations planned using Smart Zone Routing. If orders are central to your route planning process, you can access the available subsections of our order management system in the Orders menu. The Orders subsection is where you can manage your order lifecycle from start to end, while Territory Orders allows you to plan routes based on their geographical distribution. Under Order Groups, you can specify criteria for grouping orders for your route planning purposes by zip codes or other criteria. If you use Territory Routing and haven't seen the address book on the list, don't worry. The address book list and map are now available in the New Customers section, which also includes recurring schedules that allow you to plan routes days or weeks in advance. We've also simplified the Analytics section to make it more relevant to your reporting needs. It now includes the Dashboard and Activity feed. If you use Completed Notifications, you'll see the Customer Survey menu, which allows you to receive feedback from your customers with the Driver Ratings functionality. The Settings section is where you can configure more specific and advanced functionality such as optimization profiles, customer notifications, workflows, telematics integrations, order custom fields, and avoidance zones. Next, we have the Team section, which keeps the same structure as before. Here, you can set up and manage your users and vehicles. Under Account, you can manage your account settings. The same menu can also be accessed from the menu at the top right of the screen, where you also have the option to sign out of the account. Account owners can access the Feature Manager, where you can configure the add-ons and features added to your subscription plan, as well as your subscription settings. Security-related sections of our platform were all grouped under the new subsection. The history of all actions performed on your account and the API settings can be viewed here. Finally, the Help menu has been moved to the top right of the screen which allows you to access our comprehensive knowledge base or get in touch with a route for me team member. This wraps up the quick tour of route for mes new navigation menu. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support team. And thank you for watching.